Warning, warning. Two idiots are playing Dungeons and Dragons over the intercoms. Please roll for initiative and wait for further instructions. Hello, welcome back to Discovering SCP with me, Tanhani, and... And me, Tanhani. What? Welcome back, what? guys. No, that's not right. <laughs> so, that's not what you're meant to say. Yeah, ball, too bad. I've taken over. Sorry, I'm Tanhani. I already locked him the in. The last episode of Discovering like SCP. <laughs> <laughs> like some analog horror shit. <laughs> uh, uh, not today... let's put a photorealistic version of my face on screen. <laughs> the, why'd you t- that's not something that already exists. You can't just do that. <laughs> and I'm let's open up Photoshop. And I'm let's put on a photorealistic image of a meal and then just put a T in uh, Microsoft Paint. Uh, don't steal someone's art. Though. Just like put a filter okay, trying to make it look spooky. Do that. Yeah, put a put a TikTok filter on the art of the Tanoni Sona and see if it works. Okay, uh, but, talking about? <laughs> um, yeah, so today there wasn't a plan for an article, so I just scrolled through Series 8 and I saw one called Dungeons and Demons and I clicked on it. So we're here at SCP-7550 by Mere Crab. And I'm going to confirm We will literally well. pick it an we article. We're not going to get any more of Iris through the looking glass, so that's 10 pounds I'm never getting back. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Honestly, I don't care if it has the greatest plot of all time. Who could ever get through the beginning? It's so god awful. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but this this one we picked at random. Um, I think we should begin. Yeah, if we look, we can see a, uh, to be announced. Of some sort of oblivion enemy. <laughs> or it, yeah, enemy. it looks like a World of Warcraft character. Well, not even. This is like what is this? I don't yeah, know. Like oblivion I, or I see this is something the render they've made. Uh, it looks very good. It is very good. I like it a lot. Well, let's get into it. <clears throat> no more stalling. Yeah. I have some number. SCP-7550. Seven, seven, no, seven, five, five, oh. Level 3 confidential. Containment class, you sell it. Destruction class, flam. Risk class, one ang. Special containment procedures. Foundation web crawlers are to search for any signs of Dash A on websites that specifically host advertising for Dungeons & Dragons campaigns. Hmm. Uh, footnote, a popular fantasy tabletop role-playing game where players take control of fantastical characters and go on adventures that are known as campaigns. It is also known as D&D. Any this fucking like foundation egghead reading this knows what Dungeons and Dragons is. They know very well. <laughs> I was well. about to say. Yeah, I was about to say. There's no way anyone in maybe Dr. Gears didn't know what this is. Yeah, maybe. He'd be like, the only boomer he'd be, in the no, he's sitting there foundation. like, Dungeons and Dragons? Nonsense. <laughs> The, dra- the dragons must be left in the dungeon where they belong. The dragons aren't here anymore. We've already discussed this. I, we dealt let out of the box. <laughs> no. Any instances of Dash A be taken down and hidden from the public eye to prevent conveyance events. Research into Dash B and Dash C is ongoing. Okay. Um, not much to go off, though, but it's Dungeons and Dragons related. I'm going to guess that it's like Dungeons and Dragons, but evil. Because that's all, all I can guess. Damn, this is the satanic one I heard about. Yeah, you know what? That actually might be what it is, like a take on the fucking satanic panic. Damn, I That'd fucking knew it. I knew Gary Gax was the Antichrist. Yeah, pretty much. Description. The SCP is a classic destination for Dash A, Dash B, and Dash C. She. Dash C, sorry. Congratulations. Dash she. <laughs> Congratulations to the SCP. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy for its transition. Dash A is an online advertisement located on websites that advertise D&D campaigns, mainly the website roll20.mart at hashtag ad. Hashtag ad. Dash A advertises a D&D campaign about traveling to the Underdark. Ooh, an underground sense. Again, these are things that everyone who works at the Foundation probably knows. I can't blame you, though. These are things that do should actually have footnotes. And, uh, an underground setting in D&D. And cleansing it of the monstrosities that live there. Once someone joins this campaign, they are transported to an unknown location. These events are known as conveyance events. The location is designated Dash B. Oh, they get fucking isekai into the Princes of Apocalypse, the worst um, fucking campaign book in 5e. Um, please, no. I want to be isekai to my home, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Information about Dash B is sparse, but it's hypothesized that Dash B is similar to the Christian depiction of the underworld. There appears to be no discernible way to enter or exit Dash B other than entering, en- entering a conveyance event. Dash B contains a Tartarian class demonic entity designated Dash C. Dash C is approximately three meters in length and is a superficial resemblance of a human. It possesses large curved horns on its cranium and its eyes are luminescent green. 
After a conveyance event, the viewers are then greeted by Dash C. The entity considers itself a DM. <laughs> Short for Dungeon Master, the organizer of the campaign that oversees the journeys of the characters and uses world building and challenges to create effective storytelling. Is this article sponsored by Wizards of the Coast? <laughs> It might be. It kind of feels like And it, it wants the players to play its campaign. I like where this is going. <laughs> it is uncertain where Dash does see as a malevolent entity. Finally, an entity that can make your fucking players show up. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I would strike a deal with this devil, personally. Discovery. The SCP was initially discovered on 4-8-2019 when some missing person cases described a missing person people as having vanished into thin air. All of the missing people had a background in D&D and devoted a significant amount of time to the game. No casual players allowed. <laughs> this is not noob friendly. Only veterans. No homebrew. <laughs> no four e only. Oh god! <laughs> Why not three point five e? Why four e? That's so bad. The last activity on the devices was clicking advertisements where Dash A was found and contained. We got an audio log. Uh, all right, let's do this. Access uh, it. Can I be dispatcher? Okay. Can you be Sophia? Sure. Now, the following is a transcription of an Orlando, Florida 911 call. Yeah, we're talking would be in Florida. Between the dispatcher and a 19 year old woman named Sophia Henderson, who was affected by Dash A. This call took place on 4 14 2019, which is approximately three days after the most recent conveyance events. Orlando Police 911, this is the hard and recorded line. What is the address of your emergency? I don't know where I am, sir. I was just on my computer and now I'm completely lost. Please, sir, you have to help me. Can you describe your surroundings? Um, I think I'm in a cave or some underground system. I don't know how I got here. Nobody seems to be here and... Wait, is that a lava pit? Is there a problem? No, not right now. I, I think I'm fine. I just don't know how far underground I am. There There's lava everywhere. Are you saying that you're surrounded by lava? Yes, all around me. There are a lot of bones, too. Have you taken any illicit substances in the past few hours? Oh, I'm sober, sir. I never had an addiction or anything like that. The story isn't adding up, ma'am. Are you sure you're in danger? I don't want to die here. You have to send somebody. I don't... What the hell is that? The sound. sound. <laughs> oh, <laughs> footsteps. Presumably Dash sees and screaming can be heard before the call concludes. Lethal company asks Steph. It's like, come, come on, we're about to begin the session. His voice is just Yoda. Mm -hmm. I love imagining that with a little picture they've done for him. Mm, welcome to D&D. Okay, and then we got uh, interviewed Sophia Henderson, so you're still uh, interviewer Dr. Prescott. This is me. I'm getting I carried. I've been fucking hard cast to Sophia. <laughs> I, mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know what this guy's character is going to end up being, but in my mind, he's like, he's a, he's a, he's a chad. He doesn't know D&D. <laughs> He's a he's joke. Like, uh, some kind of nerd. He's the one they made the footnotes. Yeah, he's for. like he's like huge in Bob Kerr. <laughs> he's so cool. He kept forgetting what D and D was each time. Was explained. <laughs> he's like, uh, he's like he, he walks in and like uh, when he just did the interview, he's like, sure thing, Egghead. He gives him like a nookie. <laughs> <laughs> Why Egghead? Because he's talking to the scientists. That's like that's like a dad insult, not like what a bully. He Come uses. on, boy, Dexter. Like you need to do an interview for you. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Following the interview was made to determine the situation of the victims of SCP A and to gain an understanding of B and C. After Sophia so Henderson. Real quick, A is the game. A is game, B is place, ad. C is guy. Yeah, okay. A is ad, gotcha. sorry, B is place, C is guy. Gotcha, gotcha. After her phone number was obtained, an interview by phone call was established. Hello? Yo, the Sophia Henderson? Yes, who is this? All right, that's a good start. Connection stable. Who are you? Name is Michael Prescott. Heard about your current situation. I'm calling to check if you're safe. Uh, I've been chased by a creature from my nightmares, Michael. I'm, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Wait, hold on. If this has been happening, why, why were you like, who is calling me right now? What do you want? Hello? <laughs> I love that. It's like, uh, is this a spam call? Well, I'm here to help Sophia, but I need to know what happened. Okay. Oh, it's been a day. I don't know how to explain this to you. <laughs> Chase my David. It's been a day. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll take things nice and slow, Sophia. But first, I need to know if you're currently in danger. Well, I think I'm fine for now. The demon lost me, and I'm hiding in another one of these caverns. Well, that's good. That's real good. I'm glad that you're safe. Now, I need to ask you this. Can you describe the uh, the entity, the uh, monster chasing you? 
I think it looked very human, uncannily human. It had the horns of a ram, and its eyes were glowing. Right, right, right. So it has a similar appearance to the uh, demonic character known as uh, <laughs> Lucifer. <laughs> Just describe someone from the Bible. <laughs> the, the demonic character known as Lu- <laughs> the Messiah known as Jesus. <laughs> right. I actually love that. Oh, what's some other famous ones you could do that so for? So you tell me it, it, it resembles the biblical character known as the uh, Virgin Murray? So it sort of resembles that hero known as Superman. <laughs> uh, yeah, it kind of does look like Satan. Well, that's a matter of interpretation. But what caused it to chase you? Okay, so when I said it was chasing me, that was kind of an exaggeration. It only stared at me while I ran away. I just hope that... Wait, what was that? <laughs> Sounds of people shattering Sounds like- <laughs> can be heard in the background amidst the pouring lava and the ambiance of the Dash Bay. Sounds like other people are here. I'm not alone. Well, are you sure those are people? Sounds like it to me. They might be in danger. I'm going to investigate. You sure? This place may have unknown hazards, babe. I don't want to risk your safety. <laughs> yeah, what? <well, laughs> I have to check it out. I can't just stay here. The demon might find me again. Well, if you are going to travel through this route, sweetheart, your safety <laughs> should be prioritized. I'm Wait, does he already know what this is? <laughs> I ask that you record your travel, send them over to me. If you're in danger, give me a call. I'll be there to help. Uh, I'll be okay, Michael. Thank you. Also, Michael was misspelled the first few times, but then spelled correctly the last time when Sophia said his name. It's, it's, it's a matter of interpretation. Good. I'm going to have to knock down a point now. All right, we're at video log one. Yeah. The following video is sent from her cellular device and contains essential information about Dash C. It should be noted that after the video concluded, all instances of Dash C have been instantaneously from the internet, and no traces of any instance have been found. Begin. All right, how about you be C, and I'll be all these Muppets that don't matter. Sure. Camera footage from Sophia's device shows her traversing the barren underground of Dash B. As she traverses through it, she passes in several non-Euclidean pathways. Oh, I don't never want to see any of those. Oh. Intersectional archways, weird. and a bountiful amount of upside-down caverns. The vast majority Do you think there's like a foundation agent who just walks through a non-Euclidean thing? He's like, oh, it's so original. Wow. <laughs> wow, I can see you put a lot of effort into it. Wow, you don't like geometry. So cool, Eldritch Bing. Look at the Eldritch Bing that's just like a washed up <laughs> Just for doing all the tropes. The vast majority of Dashby appears to be covered in bones of unknown species with pits of lava surrounding the rest of the cabin. I don't like this at all. Hope I can find the others soon. The sounds grow louder. I think he's very calm about this, to be honest. Yeah, she's hanging she's, she's not like horrified. She's like, oh, don't care for this. <laughs> <laughs> don't like this one bit. As she approaches the on the horizon, there can be seen six figures conversing with each other. Oh, no, six of these fuckers. <sighs> that's like way too big of a group. And she's going to be seven. Oh my god. Uh, I think that's them. I'm going to get a closer look. As she draws closer, the figures get increasingly discernible, and they are eventually revealed to be five missing people sitting around a modern dining table with the imposing form of Dash Seed standing over them. Okay. So it's going to be a group of six total with C as the DM. Okay, that's that's doable, but it's mm, a lot. Not ideal. This thing's ca- it's like captured the others. Though, right? <laughs> I have to be careful. I can't let it see me. The, the, why is she saying this? It's like it's like fucking <laughs> video game, loud. and it's like you don't trust the player to figure out what to do. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> she's talking to herself. I can imagine it's like, as she says, like, it's says, like, press down on the joystick to enter sneaking stance. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does kind of feel like she's like tutorial narrating her <laughs> life right now. And Sophia gets close to the figures, now designated missing yeah. persons one to five. Mm-hmm. She quickly conceals herself behind a stalagmite and positions the camera to investigate the situation. What the hell? Are those D20s? And D&D, <laughs> then the Iraqi comes in. <laughs> D20s are dice with 20 sides that, when rolled, allow the player to determine whether they succeed or fail in action. I have a feeling someone wrote this just to, like, low-key, like, teach someone how to play d <laughs> so that they play with them. <laughs> That's what all these fucking footnotes are. There are also D4s, D6s, and other dice with multiple sides that have the same function. Yeah, to roll? There are basically multiple sets of polyhedral dice, character sheets, notebooks, spell sheets, and rule books on the table, which are essential to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you bring. <laughs> I think this is exactly what this article is. Dash C is currently conversing about a D&D campaign that he had created. Can we get this over with already? Once I find the last one, we can begin our adventure. 
Well, let's hope that she's not far, because I do not care about any of this. I think that's them over there! <laughs> MP3 points to the stalagmite, and everyone looks directly at the camera. Sophia for the gun for you, got the whole, you got the whole club laughing. <laughs> but her efforts are in vain, as Dash she has detected her presence. It seems that she is misunderstood by intentions. There's no need to worry, Sophia. You can come out! Sophia gets, so out, gets out of her, yeah, so gets out of her head, so the entity. Who are you? How in the hell do you know my name? Well, my name is Zornos. I would like to welcome you to my humble domain. I didn't mean to startle you back there. I just wanted to ask if you can join me. I love that it's like Joe mixed with like Danny DeVito or something. <laughs> I don't even know. I kind of love it though. Join you for what exactly? <laughs> I have created a D&D campaign just for you, which is why I sent you here. Couldn't you have just done that online? You made that advertisement, right? If you could do that, you could do other things online. <laughs> She's not questioning. She's very strange. I feel a weirdo. <laughs> I see your points, but all of this took longer than I wanted to make. Constructing the entire campaign in just a few hours. And dabbling in dark magic meant that I did not have the time to use your video services as well. I am not what you think I am, Sophia. Remember that. Yeah, that makes sense. But if you can transport us here, why can't you go to our dimension as well? Well, the short answer is that I cannot enter your dimension physically. Our dimensions have lots of differences. I know you all miss your families and your personal lives. But you will return with them soon. Sophia, I would like to invite you on a journey that will have lots of laughs, drama, and tragedy. <laughs> a journey that you will remember for the rest of your existence. Um, I accept, I guess. It sounds like she's going to be killed. <laughs> and that's why she <laughs> won't remember it forever. If your character dies, so do you. I want to say... <laughs> Thank you for accepting my requests. I will now prepare for our first session. Then suddenly Dumas realizes about a trace. Sophia looks at the others with a confused expression. Huh. That was strange. Nothing, <laughs> that's exactly the way I would. So uh, that just happens. Yeah. yeah, it's not the same kind of things to me. That demon gets very dramatic sometimes. You'll get used to it. I've been here for 30 years. <laughs> I'm not going to remember all these goddamn voices. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Notes. The second log is the second video sent from Sophia's device, which was delivered a few hours after the first video. It contains more detailed information about Dash C, its motivations, and its campaign. Begin log, send the lumberjack to the tree. Hell yes. That's me when I plant a sapling. <laughs> okay, <I can't> <laughs> As you step into this opening, <laughs> the light cascades into this new cavern. A large, beautiful open space presents it a good hundred foot up ceiling. From what you can see, a roaring river is now pouring out of the nearby rock, cascading over a cliffside into a waterfall down into this, th th this deeper, giant cavernous space. Intriguing. And that's where we're going to take a break. We'll be, and that's where we fade to black. <laughs> we'll be back here in a few minutes to explore the Grace Vine Mine and the dangers that prevail within. The players begin to pack up their things and take a break. Pack up your things. Where are you going? <laughs> Getting you know what? Uh, you know in school, did you ever like when the bell's about to ring start packing your bags and the teacher was like, hey, we're not done yet? Yeah. I I didn't understand that feeling. I was like, well, it's almost time to go until I was like a DM for an in-person game <laughs> and like I'd be finishing up and someone would start packing and I'd be like, hey, I'm not done yet. Hey. <laughs> Getting up out of their seats and stretching their legs. Well, that has been quite the adventure. I concur. I've been doing well so far. Oh, this is the most unrealistic part. There's no DM in security here. He's not freaking out about how well he did. I haven't seen a DM playing so well during the first session in a long time. How'd you do that? The truth is, Sophia, that I had no plan. I had so many things to juggle around, I didn't know if I could achieve any of this, so I went in blind. Oh, that this is the humble brag? That is cute. <laughs> At least you have excellent improv. That's a great strength to have as a DM. We can work on the other stuff later. You, you want to help me with my endeavors? 
I've been playing this game for years. What this is, is going on? Player. I hope you're on Zornos. You may get nervous, but that's okay. Every DM's felt that before, even me. Even? Yeah, Sophia's got a big head as well. <laughs> it's, it's the classic DM, always between insecurity and big head. Oh, thank you, Sophie. I, I appreciate your benevolence. For the next five minutes, Sophie begins the guide that she and gives advice and tips on being a DM. So in general, you have to collaborate with the players and make sure that your needs and their needs are fulfilled. This game's for everyone at the table. We should all have fun, no matter what. Good to know. I will write that down. I am grateful that you helped me. Thank you. No problem. But there's one thing that's been bothering me lately. What is your concern? Out of millions of players that you could have chosen, why me? Why me and these five random strangers? Well, I picked all of you for a reason. You were the first out of millions of mortals. I saw the brightest and kindest player I have ever seen. When I saw you, it was like I saw what I always wanted to be manifested in reality. Wow, I don't know what to say. You are allowed to be flattered. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if I was the best option for you, then why did you choose the others? Especially the guy that keeps annoying you. Why him? I chose that man because I wanted to learn how to deal with a flawed player. I told you already, Sophie, I picked everyone here for a reason. Huh. I know this may sound strange, but I am trying to create the best campaign that I can create. I need to achieve this. Soranos, playing D&D isn't about being the best. It's about having fun with your players. I don't want you to weigh yourself down. Yeah, but I'll be all right, Sophia. I know what I'm doing. It's been delightful talking to you. Yeah, it's really fun getting to know you. Is it romance? Since our break will be over <laughs> in a few minutes, we uh, uh, we should prepare for the next half of our session. I- I'll see you soon. He's like blushing, <laughs> running away. Greg's scooping up his <laughs> dice. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. <clears throat> We're on video live. Yeah, third video sent from a device. We'll a few after the second video. It contains the increasing hostility between that scene and its players. No. Oh, no. This is this is just like D&D. This just like time. me for real. Yeah. After the eight million times, that's good trouble. Fuck you. As you eventually make your way to the outside, the quarry. Hold on. You were away this week. What do you mean? <laughs> it's not my fault. But it is your fault. <laughs> What about all the other weeks we've had hiatus? No, I'm not talking about the other weeks. I'm talking about this week. <laughs> this week, yeah. And even then, I was like, hey, I can play if we just get up early. And everyone was like, no, I can't set an alarm on a Saturday. You need, you need going good and never set an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> this mine is, as you eventually make your way to the outside of the quarry, you look down into three large pits to descend deep into the side of the mountain. This mine has been going for quite some time, and a large chunk of it looks like it might be being prepped. Almost like the mine is what's growing the dwarven city. The more they mine into the mountain, the more they fill the mine dirt with further sea construction. It is a self perpetuating cycle of expanding the city downwards. Currently. Uh, what were we looking for in the city again? I wasn't listening to what was happening earlier. Sorry. Let me get my notes first. He then fumbles through its equipment, making a significant mess. He eventually finds the notes they were searching for. I thought you were prepared for all this with the dramatic speech and all. Well, that, that speech was meant to entice you into joining the campaign. I, I can make mistakes, just like any DM out there, but I will be sure not to fail. Uh, anyway, the party was searching for the lost spear of Kafmuri, which was hidden deep in the mines and his extraordinary power. You were going to stop the BBEG from obtaining it. Uh, short for Big Bad Evil Guy, an acronym used to describe the main antagonist of the campaign. Oh, that one. I remember now. As I was saying... Sounds like someone's hungry. Sorry about the interruption. Did you bring any food for us? You haven't given us anything to eat yet. Oh my god, what the fuck? You... Okay. There's a... Th- okay, I'm mad now about this. I'm mad about this. Because Sophia was supposed to be the kindest player among them, right? Yeah. Actually, wait, hold on. They were history. all teleported to Hal against their will. Yeah. Never mind. I was going to say, <laughs> normally the etiquette... extraordinary and cooperative. <laughs> nor- normally the etiquette is, uh, because your DM is kind enough to run, you bring the snacks. And, like, the really nice DMs just bring the food anyway. But, like, I was... But I, I remember they did all get teleported here against their will to Hal. <laughs> So, of course, you humans need sustenance. I completely forgot. I apologize for the inconvenience. Let me get that for you. I see materials like large swipes of snacks, such as chips, donuts, and pizza out of thin air onto the table. You know, 
I have been sitting in this damned place for so long. <laughs> Double meaning. The stories that you humans tell are the only thing keeping me going down here. Which is why we're here. Exactly! I no longer have to sit by and watch your stories be told. I can finally make my own, my magnum opus. Come on, man. I don't care. I'm getting tired. Can we get out of here already? Have what patience, you man. Fuck this guy. <laughs> You will return to your homes eventually. Can you at least let me continue the story first? Okay, fine, but you better make this damn campaign work. All right, then, let's get to the exciting part. Kick this player from the group, please. He doesn't need to be here. Next 30 minutes is long, which consists of extraneous conversation, mild D&D gameplay gameplay being cut for brevity. (laughs) Mild D&D gameplay. What's up? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so if anyone ever wrote that about my D gameplay i would be very impressed. <laughs> okay sophia there's a goblin in front of you ready to pounce what shall you do i cast fireball sophia you always cast fireball but it's an efficient spell yeah and we're in a tight space so you're gonna kill both the goblin and us fine i'll cast lightning bolt then all right i'll make the dexterity saving throw and oh what is it that's a natural one. Yes, finally. That's what I've that's been waiting, waiting for. for baby. That's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be uh, 48 points of damage, and as the lightning zaps out of your fingers, uh, your fingertips, it hits the goblin and burns it to a crisp, and you hear its last cries of mercy as its uh, eviscerated body falls to the ground. Good job with the descriptions, Ornos. I can see you're getting better at this. <laughs> Thank you. I am getting better at this. I am. I hope that this improvement continues. Yeah, yeah, but where are all the intimidating enemies? These are just goblins. Don't be so harsh on him. He's new to this game. You don't have to be so rude about it. I see it. a concern for me, but it's all right. I can handle it. <laughs> imagine saying, like, imagine, like, your Jackal's thing was said to me, like, hey, leave my alone. like, I can handle him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as you traverse through the depths of the cavern, you start to notice some dead bodies ahead. When you make your way over there, you see that the bodies weren't afflicted by any physical weapons, but rather than the, or, the uh, organs suddenly lost function, as if they went brain dead without any physical contact. Oh, oh, I know I killed them. It's an intellect devourer. They steal your intelligence and leave you in a coma. I love those enemies. My character is going to be very careful around this thing. Are you metagaming? A term in D&D used when a player uses real life not Oh my god, I think my theory is correct. There's no other way. Why is it so in-depth? A term in D&D used when a player uses real life knowledge concerning the state of the game, such as knowledge of certain enemies or items, to determine their character's actions, when the said character has no relevant knowledge or is aware of the subject. There's silence. Some players are beginning to sweat. MP2 can be seen slowly reaching their hand into a pocket. Fine, I'm just pointing out the obvious. Does your character know of this creature? Well, no, not really, but most of your enemies are just cheap, weak punching bags. I like the weird enemies that confuse the hell out of people. You should do more of But you ruined the surprise for everyone. The campaign needed suspense. And what are you going to do about it? He then stares at MP1 with a fury expression and snaps his fingers. Four spikes protrude from the floor to impale MP1. He is heavily <laughs> injured, but he does not die. I should have been allowed to do this to you anytime Bird Boy did some fuck shit. That was his character. <laughs> just the spe- spears. What the fuck? What the hell did you just do? I taught him a lesson. But you impaled him! How is that teaching him anything? I wasn't raised with the concepts of right and wrong, Sophia. That man had no respect for anyone around him, so I'll make him respect us. But that's cruel, Zornos. I, thought I can't imagine. believe Zornos would fucking do this. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. I am what I am, Sophia. Justice is the principle that people receive what they deserve. People like him deserve everything that comes with them. <laughs> You're wrong. Ugh. He pulls out pocket knife from a pocket and stabs that scene in the heart to no effects. This is not your, who you are, Zornos. This isn't your heart. <laughs> you think you know who I am? Not this. I know you wanted to understand me, Sophia. <laughs> to help me with my efforts. Well, and you should have accepted that I was right. 
He grabs the back of MP2's head and rips the skin off her skull. MP2 is not dead, however, and her form still begins to slowly reverse back to its normal state. Well then, since we now solved that issue, let's get back to the campaign, shall we? Oh, 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 oh. oh they had time for another interview. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, I got to be Prescott again. <laughs> What's up, babe? Oh my god. <laughs> this interview by phone call was made to check on the safety of the missing people, to determine the situation made by the SCP, and to determine solutions to the problems that Dash C has created. Begin log. Hello? Yo, Sophia, it's Mike. I've seen the footage and I'm, uh, I'm pretty concerned. You definitely should be concerned. That thing has tortured everyone for days now. I don't know what to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, we're going to solve this crisis, but um, are you okay, babe? Has it tortured you? Yeah, have you sustained any injuries? No, not yet, but if I step once out of line, I'm going to end up like the rest. I need to get the hell out of here. Sure, sure, we're going to find a way. Uh, if you can't run, then, then you walk. If you can't walk, uh, crawl, simplify. No matter what, you have to keep moving forward. I can't. Well, you can, Sophia. I know you can. You have to face the demon uh, itself. <laughs> so he's like a dis, dis, like, discaring fucking therapist. <laughs> Just like playing with a Rubik's Cube on his desk. I have actually got talk. a Rubik's Cube in front of me right now. I have to play. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to convince it to stop, but it just won't. The thing isn't human. Right, right, right. Uh, Sophia, I know this may seem dire, but we, we still got a chance to succeed. This anomaly, it's got uh, it's human flaws, got emotions, motivations. Uh, it's that, that human connection you got, that's, that's the key to winning. I don't know if I have the strength to do well, this. Well, sure you do, Sophia. I believe you. you can go back to your family, babe. I'll be sure that you will come back. All you have to do is twist that knife. I'll see what I can do. Why not just play the campaign through? I mean, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> it's a six-month campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Worth. Honestly, how oh I'm on doing if six months of fighting it, goblins. I would fucking trap my players in the hell dimension to make them play. It's so much better than, like, cancels every other week. Uh, all right, we're on video log four. Actually, we're almost through this. I thought this would take longer. Well, maybe we'd just be enjoying it. Yeah, it's fine. Begin log. That's me when I plant a tree in Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, that's me when I chop your head off. Really, my head keeps talking. You're actually horrified because you thought I would die from that. <laughs> and my spine like lunges out my neck hole and grabs my head. <laughs> Why don't you read the description? Okay. Of boy? Ca- what do you call me? Neck hole boy. Spikes burst from the floor and impale you. <laughs> <laughs> I dodged them swiftly with ease. You didn't roll. You didn't roll. You metal gaming. More spikes. Uh, more spikes. More spikes. More spikes. More spikes. More spikes. I'm going. I'm going to the good trouble server. I'm going to roll real. Quick. Okay, you need a. Uh, you right. need to roll a fifteen or higher to dodge your spikes. I got a nineteen, so fuck you. Damn, you dodge your spikes <laughs> with ease. Let's see how, uh, see how long that look can keep up. Snap fingers. Snap fingers. Snap fingers. <laughs> Just fucking read the goddamn description. <laughs> Camera footage shows the aftermath of a recent punishment by Dash C. The charred but still alive body of MP3 can be seen along with the others. <laughs> it was a proud to play Dashie's campaign as efficiently as possible to not break any rules. I'm sorry. I- see, he's see the core of this is the DM is falling into the trap where he's caring too much about his campaign and the rules and not the fun of his players, and that's the moral of this article. Calling it now. It happens. It happens to plenty of DMs. Uh, sorry, you, you have to read I just thought of something funny. It has nothing to do with anything he just said, but <laughs> time for the campaign, kittens. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Discord mod. Oh my god. As you burst through the door and enter the throne room, you can see all the Drogar. Uh, Dwergar are an antagonistic humanoid species. Indeed. Stand there with the weapons at the ready. You can see in the back on the raised platform there are two thrones and the top two Dwergar sitting on the thrones at the ready. Uh, you, you can see two list like creatures in the back on chain leases. However, all the Dwergar are ready to strike, waiting for your demise. Roll initiative. Everyone rolls their dice and uh, MP2 rolls highest, making the one to go first in the battle. Next initiative are MP4, MP5, MP3. No, sorry, MP1 and Sophia. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cast lightning on the two beasts in a straight line. Okay, so you pull back and you leech a lightning ball. It goes straight across the room and hits the two now visible basilisks. Go ahead and roll for damage. MP2 rolls the dice around how much damage it produces. She gets a total of 29. Well, uh, one enemy failed the saving throw and the second one made it, so 29 damage to one and uh, 14 damage to the other. Okay, since it's my turn now, I'm going to go to the lizard things. Wait, what were they called again? Oh, they're basilisks. Okay, since they can't see me, I'm going to sneak behind one of the basilisks and use my two daggers to stab it in its eyeballs. 
Why do you want to hit his eyeball specifically? <laughs> it's visibly frightened and begins to hyperventilate. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll just, I'll just get the side of its head instead. Good choice. Why don't you just let him roll a fucking arcana to see if he knows about Basilisk's <laughs> asshole? Good choice. Roll to see if you succeed. <laughs> First dice hits, it's an 18. Then succeed. Roll for damage. Okay, so the damage for the first dagger is 19, 28, plus 36. Second dagger also hits for a little less, seven points of fire damage on the other side. All right, so the first one jams into the head. He didn't even see you. It recoils back, uh, slapping your hand back out of the way. The other dagger strikes and just gleams over its shoulder. However, it turns around and it, it, it now knows that you're there. Before this gets any worse, I'd like to thank all of you for being more dip- disciplined than earlier. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. <laughs> I'm having a hell of a time. <laughs> <laughs> the next 40 minutes of this battle have been cut for brevity. <laughs> Peaks of all you. Uh, Sophia, it is now King Grossarmi's turn. Uh, he sees this blast of lightning streak pass now as it blasts, just barely passing in front of him, hitting both his pet bass lists. Now seeing that his army's been weakened by the current tree, he glances over at you, Sophia. And uh, then he grabs his blade with both hands and, and starts running towards you with a swing. Uh, what did you roll? I have an armor class of 15. I have received 20 total from the dice. The first strike that is an 18 and an OD error. The second strike is a 13. Misses. Third strike is a 12. Wow, he just got, he, he just got hit at all his turn. <laughs> or if the one strike he does obtain, the sword comes down, streaks cross for the knee, you take 18 points of slash and damage. Damn, I'm almost down for good. Well, at least you've been very better than the others. Your healer's dead, everyone else on the last legs, and some players are so desperate to win that they have to resort to cheating. I'm glad that you stuck with me the whole time. Thank you, but I've been meaning to ask you something. What are you requesting? Why are you doing this? You want to be a well-liked dungeon master, yet you can't even have the time to get to know us. What are you talking about? I'm done with you and your games, Ornos. I have to lie to my loved ones and assure them that I'm okay. I can't keep doing this anymore. You have to stop, please. Would you kindly calm down and stop this fucking discourse? We are just getting started. This is my game, Sophia, and we must follow it together. I hope she drops the line, no D&D is better than bad (laughs) (laughs) No. Sophia then swipes all the dice and other D&D items off the table. You keep worrying about your status as a storyteller over us while we all suffer. If I can't say this more clearly, then I don't know what will. I'm ending this. What are you intending, Sophia? I I I thought this would be an enjoyable experience. (sighs) I'm going to quit this campaign. You can go ahead and kill me if you have to. Just please let the others leave for everyone's sake. There's silence for 15 seconds. Dash C is seen sitting with a shocked expression. After a while, Dash C lets out a sigh. I see. Don't have any other choice, do I? Flynn stands up to join <laughs> Sophia and oppose Dash C. Your punishments don't scare me anymore. <laughs> so inspiring. I'm not any more of this bullshit. You've scarred everyone here. Look at the man you just burned alive. Is this really what you wanted? Should have that beat so you have a name anymore. I hope we never see you again. I'm tired, Zornos. Please give us a chance. So be it. Snaps its fingers. All the missing people are transported to our designated dimension. I, f- I failed all of you. I am so sorry. No, where's don't, this character Don't put art? me on D&D horror stories, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, yeah, that's, oh, interview, oh, Prescott. no, it's all me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the following is... An, oh, fuck. Oh, interview between Prescott and Dash C that took place on a video call. This interview was made to evaluate the aftermath of Dash C's befall and determine what comes next. Do you want me to take over one of these Can you guys? read that press up? Can you, like, yeah. see it to the character I envisioned there? <laughs> Good afternoon, SCP-7550-C. I know you, Foundation. I know you saw what I have done, so please let me be. I'm only here to ask you a few questions, babe. Uh, Dash C- no, he wouldn't say that. He wouldn't call Dash C, babe. He wouldn't say that. He wouldn't fucking say that. Uh, I'm only here to ask you a few questions, bro. Yeah. <laughs> not going to waste your time any further. I'll make it quick, Doctor. Uh, so after the events... Did you yawn? Are you now, tired? Uh, how do you feel, bro? Sorry, I just don't like talking to dudes. Uh, have you felt any guilt or remorse? I don't know anymore. I've already watched down this path. I can't turn back. Uh, 
Oh, it makes you think that. This campaign was supposed to be my Eiffel Tower. It was my Rachmaninoff Spur and my Pieta, but now I have failed. Do you believe that this is the end of the road for you? What else is there? I failed the people who took pity and kindness to me. Perhaps, but uh, you also can make a choice. I'm here so that you can make the right one. I thought this was just an interview, wasn't it? I didn't inform you of this, but I'm also here to discuss the protocols of your containment. I beg your pardon? Still have a job to do. Can't just let you go about your daily life. The <laughs> demon's <you> daily life. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't bothered you with your dimension, have I? I just had a discussion with the site director about exactly this. They argued that we should leave you to your demons. Hey. I disagree. You can make decisions we can't predict. I have failed. All your hostages have been released. Wouldn't letting me sit alone in solitude for the rest of my existence be enough? This implies that the foundation is more like jail than research. <laughs> it's like it's been a bad anomaly. <laughs> Ten years in foundation containment. <laughs> you get a sentence. <laughs> yeah. Get to leave if you're on like the League of Legends. I imagine some SCPs that are sentient get like some kind of parole, right? They're not just kept in a room. No, Iris in a cage forever with Joe. <laughs> I hope they fucking never let Joe out. <laughs> That's a reasonable assumption, but I have a better solution for the benefit of everyone. What is your solution, then, Doctor? I was thinking of a resurgence of your old campaign. Bringing new players, teaching them. <laughs> Guide them throughout the game, all while using the software we're currently on. There'll be changes to your rules, of course, but I think we can make it work. <laughs> I loathe your weak attempt at redeeming me. To reach your hand down to somebody, they need to be beneath you! Not beneath nobody. That's a okay, little so critical role deep, reference. Not critical. Critical role, role calamity. Uh, it's from Dimension Twenty. No, yeah. no, it's from Critical Role Calamity. No, it's it not. fucking is. It's it's fucking yeah. Brennan. Death yeah, because he was the guest DM for Critical Role Calamity. Uh, Don't fuck with me. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It is Brennan Lee Mulligan, but it was for Critical like, I, I, I didn't know you were a Critical uh, Role. Uh, uh, <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I, I never. I try to watch Critical Role. I can't just... watch Critical Role. I'm like, I've only been able to watch the Calamity. I, I much prefer Dimension 20, to be honest. Yeah, Dimension 20 is a lot better. I also recommend Dungeons and Daddies. If you haven't watched it yet, very good. Shorter episodes. Mm-hmm. Very funny. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, continue, please. Uh, what was I? Oh, I that's me, sorry. This story isn't about you. I need to make logistics for your containment. You started the story, didn't you? <laughs> Fucking Aaron. <laughs> I'm already contained, Doctor. Because of what I've graded, all I wanted is out of my hands. Just leave me alone. <sighs> I know that you're a troubled being, Dash C, but you're not born with venom in your veins. Second chance may be out of your reach, but uh, I can help you find more. I am beyond repair. Do you believe that I can be redeemed? Runs one bad d <laughs> game, decides to hate himself for the rest of time. Just because someone stumbles down their path in life doesn't mean they are lost forever. Your demons can be contained, Zornos. If you want to make amends, this is the best I have. I can't. I have done unspeakable things to my players. <laughs> Two hours at an inn! <laughs> Two hours at an inn! <laughs> I, I flayed them for wanting a shopping session. <laughs> Just tell me what you want and I'll put it in your inventory. <laughs> uh, continue, please. Well, I'm trying to think of more heinous things he's done. <laughs> the, the, the DMPC, he was meant to show him how the game worked. That's why he was strong. <laughs> if you were willing to bring him more, I can't imagine what I could cause. Do you think Sophia would want me to bring more harm to others? Sophia wanted you to change, to let the good in you triumph. You can't sit around and let your past consume you. I see. Before we continue, can you tell her that I'm sorry for everything? We've already administered the amnestics. She'll be okay. Oh my god, that's that's depressing, because they bonded. That's sad. Fuck the Foundation. I still remember everything. I need to apologize to all of them. They'll always be with you. We cannot turn things around immediately, but we can at least take the first steps. <laughs> they will always be like the dead. Is he going to like train him to be a good DM so he can give those players the campaign they deserved? <laughs> Not <bad. laughs> MP1 didn't deserve a good campaign. Yeah, fuck him. Thank you, Doctor. You made me a happy bunny. Here we go. New table. Oh, this is a long one. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> 
Oh my god, there's so much scrolling. Oh, so the guys. <laughs> All right. Agent Muffy's got me there somewhere. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be Greg, Sarah, and Lee. If you can be Aaron, Jessica, and Taylor, as well as the, okay. the CP. The D group is currently... In- See, this is interesting. How come the other people were just MP, but these Because these people are names. the Foundation personnel and therefore have names. Uh, okay. The D&D group is currently undergoing a boss fight against the Beholder, Kavan. Okay, I'll, <coughs> hold on. Since he's, like, good now, maybe I'll, like, undemon his voice a little bit cause it, before it kills me. Mm-hmm. No, actually, no. Okay, all right. So, Kavan starts his turn. Kavan now just kind of looks about and kind of shakes for a second. The eyes are kind of looking in different directions. Sees all of you and gets to drift up into the air. <laughs> That's my favorite fucking DM tick. I, uh, I see you do a lot where you just say kind of a lot before everything. <laughs> like, kind of, kind of, kind of. Uh, all right, I'm Greg Sarah Lee. You're Aaron Jessica Taylor. Aaron Jessica Taylor. <laughs> Isn't that an answer? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, great. It can fly. They fly now? I didn't know that. That's cool. Right. Kavar moves up. At which, which point, as you guys were ducking off to the side, uh, Kavar comes to the side and he drifts up towards the top. Ah, uh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, where's, like, the uh, the thing that we fell through? Is it blocking any sort of... No, no, is it this angle right here? It's kind of following the uh, temple ceiling here. We might have to get Greg out of there somehow. So first thing first is going to fire its first ray. It gets three eyes every We day. need to run all right, so one of the eyes whoops around, aims at the, let's see, this will be at Sarah. Me already? He's aiming at you. You're aiming at, sorry, I just got so scared I heard my name. Go ahead and uh, make a strength saving throw, Sophia. Sophia? Sorry, I meant Sarah. Oh, Christ. <laughs> uh, m- 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 make a strength uh, saving throw, please. <laughs> it's, it's uh, so it feels like an X throw. now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what would that, what is that? Oh, no, okay, I see. Twelve. 12. You have inspiration if you need it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you can add your inspiration device dice to a uh, saving throw if you'd like. I can? It's up to you. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, so it's a 12 plus a d10. Go roll ahead and roll a d10. D10, that's a 10? That's a d10. I got two. So that's a 14. That's a 14. Correct. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's like the re- It's so real. <laughs> It hurts a little bit. As you Fuck. as you bring your shield up to defend, this kind of strange kind of uh, grayish green ray slams into you, and you feel weightless for a moment. All of a sudden, you lift it off your feet and carry down to the chamber, floating, uh, restrained, unable to move, and you're just kind of floating in midair right there, right now. Okay. Uh, and then the beam releases. You go ahead and make an athletic check. Come on, Taylor. Uh, Come on, Taylor. You've got this. With disadvantage because you're in heavy chainmail. Okay. What was it? Athletics. Uh, well, five. acrobatics technically. Sorry, my help. Oh, four. Four, all right. Thanks for the clarification. (laughs) (laughs) She said that was so wholesome. (laughs) Uh, All right, you take 23 points of damage as you plummet, slamming on your back on the ground, and you're currently prone. Okay, things are going well. The second race streaks up is going to slam into you, Aaron. Go ahead and roll a dexterity saving throw. Okay, 24. Okay, you see this uh, deep bluish ray come shoot up towards you, just barely pull out of the way, it slams her apart, and broken metal is left over. As it hits the metal, you see the metal turn to stone. That was close. You might as well just pull, you, pull, pull out of the way, the blast is going to end Kavard's turn. Next. 50 minutes of the lock have been cut for brevity. It's almost dead, isn't it? Correct, its health is uh, currently dis- d- d- dissipating. All right, all we need to do now is rip that damn thing's horn off its head. What's that horn on his head? Wait, anyway? has Lee shown up yet? He was, like, listed in the staff. <laughs> He's not got much to say. <laughs> you will find out soon enough. Okay, I'm going to cast Telekinesis and uh, rip its horn off its head. I'll go ahead and make the check for Telekinesis. Well, uh, that doesn't happen. I use it. Yeah, no, that doesn't hit, so I'll have to spend another. Okay, so as you release the Telekinesis, you uh, pull and pull, but the horn is uh, d- 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 definitively locked in place. Okay, then I'll spend five more. I'll set the ring off one of its tentacles. Stocks? Oh, okay, go ahead and make another check. You're going to check that last one off. Check this off. I'm using all these for my lone stones. That's quite all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, that hits. What is that? My 20? Oh, no, my mistake is 29. 29? Yeah. All right, so as you pull, one of the eye stocks got flung on the body. You can see this, like, a spurt of brackish blood that spills across the area nearby. Oh, I hope that one was a disintegration ray. Uh, go ahead and roll a 3d6. I feel so bad it's all your character. <laughs> oh, it does damage? Yep. Uh, four. Four. Four damage. All right, Jessica, that ends your turn. My turn now, right? Correct. 
four on 3d6? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like two ones and a two. Okay, I'm going to shoot an arrow at him. Hail of Thorns is level three. That is a 14. Does that hit? Oh, 14. Unfortunately, no. Uh, it hits the side of the wall. It explodes. Sending a series of wooden spikes into the spot on the side of the temple. Okay, cool. I'm just going to shoot him through the flaming bow then. You use the uh, flipping bow twice already, so you can no longer use it. I- I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to shoot him. This has been fun, guys. Uh, 23. 23 hits. Go and roll damage with your hunter's mark. Okay, 13 and 15. 20 points of damage. 20 points of damage. All right. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Woo! He said the thing. <laughs> he said it. Woo, 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 woo. Cheer with me. <laughs> you want to cheer? <laughs> Well, oh, I cheered. Sorry. Whoa, let's go. Good job. You did it. It's like the fucking scene in the Evangelion. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, Zornos. <laughs> um, line? Uh, yeah, sorry, my Rubik's Cube broke. Line, 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 line. We finally did it. I want to... We finally did it, yeah. We finally did it. I want, I want to shoot it. Is it possible to shoot him right where her horn hits his head and knock it off then? Well, unfortunately, no. All right, then I shoot straight into his eyeball. All right, so as Kavon's looking around, kind of frantic at this point, and then glances up at you just in time for you to release that final arrow. And struck down, going right into the pupil. Blood begins to pour out the front of the eye as the arrow pierces up the back side. It's about six inches out of the back of Kavon. Uh, it slowly sinks a few feet and just slams onto the ground. <laughs> Fuck you, meatball. Well done, Taylor. That was a great shot. That's the only line he's had. <laughs> Thank you. Why did he need to exist in this long? Well, this celebration has been delightful, but the battle is not over yet. What do you mean? It's Kavan's turn now, and now you can see black energy begin to pull into the horn, and Kavan opens his eye once again. Now the eye is pale white color, and you can see the jaw is a little slack, but the horn is now glowing this intense black color, and his beholder gets back up from his position. Great. It's a zombie beholder now. Oh, shit, that's the Horn of Orcus, God of Undeath. We need to pull out that horn. Did your character know that? Well, I know what it is. My character saw the horn bring it back to life, so that's why I'm going to try and pull it off. Oh, okay, no worries. <laughs> the character grows. <laughs> He's grown. Come on, I'm going to take another ray attack. It's uh, you, Greg. Can I get a some saving free throw from you? Sure, sure, I'm not worried. With advantage. Yes, natural 20. Wait, the only comments on other people's wait, actions. Is Greg also Lee? No, Lee was just announcing his role, I guess. <laughs> oh! Wait, who the fuck is Greg? Oh, Greg Miller. <laughs> Greg also doesn't talk yeah. much. Yeah, he talked like in the beginning a little bit, and that was it. Oh! Uh, <laughs> yeah. He begins to form a proud expression. <laughs> Excellent dice roll. A wave of fear hits your mind for a second watching it rise, but you see many horrible things and it's not enough to shake your will and resolve. Third one. All right, can I get a dexterity saving throw? This will be from you, Taylor. Okay. You gotta jump. Ten. Plus your dex, right? I I didn't add anything. The dull green ray fires out from the currently undead Kavar. You take 45 points of damage. Wow, that's a lot. Right. I'm still alive, at least. You're still conscious? Yep, she is. Good, we don't want to lose our MVP. <laughs> hey, I've been helping too. I don't know, I'm just joking around. <laughs> <laughs> so wholesome now, what the fuck? Anyway, it's now oh Jessica's turn. All right, I'm going to start heading in, and I'm going to get myself down. I'm going to use telekinesis and rip the horn off its fucking... Uh, how many sorcery points do you have? And that's it after that. No, nah, she's lying. She already ran out a few rounds ago. Excuse me? I watched you drain all your points, Jessica. Do you think I will let you get away with... It's all right. She probably miscounted. I'll allow it for now. Are you just letting her go? What's Aaron's fucking problem? It's like an SCP. He's like trying to piss her off. <laughs> Kill her. He's the problem player. <laughs> get the spikes out. <laughs> hey, let, let him cook. He has something to say. <laughs> Why is he like... Do you think I will let you get away with that? <laughs> No, this is this yeah, is no. his big character grow moment. At the end of the Give day, we're all having fun. We all slip up sometimes. It'll be all right. Uh, yeah, that was my fault. I was looking at one of my spells. I was checking my sorcery points. Sorry about that. It'll be fine. The rules of this game are just guidelines. And yes, we want a legitimate and honest experience, but we want to have fun. We kind of just have one or the other. Can she make a roll now? Yes, she can. Go ahead and make your roll. What is it? Oh, yeah. That's a 26. 
26. With a sickening, tearing sound, you notice a shaking of the horn begins to slowly pull from the slightly depelled and decomposing form of Kavan. As the horn begins to rock and tear, the, uh, the tug and tear, the flesh stretches before eventually is torn from the body. The moment the horn rises, all that black energy sort of dissipates, and the rest of Kavan's form slumps to the ground and slowly begins to melt away. Aaron got real quiet after getting yeah. chastised. I'll just say that. Thank God! Is that it? Is the session over? Yeah, but we still have to exit the temple. That is reserved for next week. Thank you all for being here. Party says their thanks and goodbyes and exits the call. Dr. Prescott and Bash C are the only ones still attending. That went better than I expected. You've done well. You've done well, little bro. <laughs> <laughs> You've done well, little bro. Thank you, Doctor. I couldn't have done any of this without you. We have to continue these sessions so I can check in on you, little bro. And if the campaign ends... We'll find a way to make things work. Council still calls you a threat, but I'll make sure that these sessions won't go awry. If only Sophia could see from what I had become. She had to move on. We all have to. I know, but I still remember that day. I need to make sure that she's okay. She moved on from that circumstance and is now living a normal Which life. is not like she moved on and you went to memory. <laughs> she didn't conquer Someone anything, she just remembered. The- <laughs> <laughs> Someone reaches a hand down to help you. Remember to hold on tight. I'll see you next week. Wow. 12 so out of 10. True. I would give it a 13, but you did misspell Michael a few times. Um, and there was some stuff at the beginning. But otherwise, it was e- really oh, good. I enjoyed that. Evil Darnell. <laughs> that was a beautiful experience. I really feel like it captured the spirit of D&D and like, growing as a DM and like what it's like. Um, I thought it was very sweet, cute, very fun. A little uh, bit cheesy, out. but I liked it. A <laughs> little, little bit cheesy, but like, fuck, man. I mean, it's okay to be cheesy in life, you know? No, it can't. I won't allow no, it. No, it has to be dark and brooding, and it has, to, have killed has him to be ending. With a and the doctor info. has to be a drinker and a smoker. And he's very depressed. Get me Murphy Law! <laughs> <laughs> no, this was really good. Uh, Mirhrab, great job. I enjoyed this. Murphy Law would do excellent in D&D. He just pops up in your campaign. Yeah. <laughs> he would just say what he rolled, and it would be correct. <laughs> he could cheat so hard. Uh, anyway, enough about Murphy Law. It's time to read some comments, shall we? I guess if I have to read these. Oh, wait, hold on. What were your thoughts on the SCP? I like to, like I said, I thought it maybe went a little bit too long. Like, that massive battle, yeah. battle I don't think we needed as the entire fucking battle, um, this, including yeah. second phase. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I feel like... No, 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 no. no. Like I said, it basically goes like, it was a bit cheesy, but uh, like you said, maybe I have to submit to learn. <laughs> Without. Yeah, maybe you do. For good trouble, smile. What? Darnell, are you trying to reach your hand down to help me? To reach your hand down to help someone? They have to be beneath you! It's such a good line, I love it. I want to use it, but then everyone would know I'm just copying it from Brendan Lee Mulligan. It's so iconic, though. Fuck. He's such a good DM. I fucking love Brendan Lee Mulligan. Uh, so c- He's so funny. Comments from last video when we read the light novel. Crocat says, this story sucked. Skull emoji. Can't wait for chapter two. Mm. Emoji. Uh, NT says, I'd rather watch the SCP animated videos than read that. Like, I have read shit light novels. This is by far the worst. Uh, Cassie's better than Iris. Changed my mind. Also, is 8th Roll Space on Spotify? If so, where can I find it? Unfortunately, it is marked. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, we're lazy and suck. Um, Skull Guy says, I like... What? I liked it. Um, you have a different opinion than Joe. Snaps your neck, jollily, jollily, jollily. <laughs> Every time I jolly? open a YouTube comment recently, there's been this weird picture of a girl with a camera. I don't know what's going on with it. It's like a glitch or something. Uh, Hold on, uh, what's going on? The picture's getting bigger. Shut I got fucking music guy. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> All of a sudden, the hair is over your eyes now. <laughs> oh lord! Uh, an anomalous writer says. Uh, uh, quite a different form of article this time around. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> uh, Shithalia says, This guy's so fragile, he can't even handle loud sounds. Hey, I'm sensitive to loud sounds. Yeah, too. but you're not annoying. Sorry, face. I am- <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I almost did the FNAF scream, and I was like, I'll not. <laughs> God damn it. Guare <laughs> uh, says, This lies no, was no, I want you to say there was no malicious intent. I heard the word for Five Nights in Freddy scream and just had to do it. <laughs> It was an automatic uh, response. Guare said, This slide novel is not just badly written, but also boring as hell. Thank God you guys were cracking jokes to it, otherwise I would have gone insane. 
Gayhald Mills says, episode 177 out of 177. I'm here, finally! And it was the SCP Light Novel. I'm sorry. I have to agree with it being really boring to start. Which, to be fair, the author's trying to introduce the SCP universe for people who know nothing about it. Yeah, but that's not really, you know, show, not tell. But also, like, a lot of what was filler was just, like, the way it was written. Yeah. Because well, like, if we started, with, like, what felt like an eternity in that fucking library. <laughs> yeah, for fucking real. I shall wait for you guys to read SCP's Apotheosis Canon. Have a smile. Well, I got nude for you, Gauhard Mills. I decided five seconds ago that we're doing that next episode. Oh, no. What? But yeah, thank you all for watching. <laughs> you don't know anything we'll about it. What do you mean, no, no? But, well, Apotheosis means becoming a god, so I imagine it's going to be like a really long article. <laughs> uh, see you guys next time. Bye.